my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. So today, oh my gosh, I am so excited for this video because I'm doing a prom get ready with me. I've got two giant balloons right here and I'm just ready for prom. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to achieve this makeup for prom. I'm gonna show you guys how to do my hair and also where I got this gorgeous dress from. I'm so excited for this video because I haven't done a, like a get ready with me chatty kind of video in so long and this is just perfect, perfect opportunity. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so you can keep up with two videos a week from me and we can just hang out every day on my vlog channel if you would like to, of course. My vlog channel is called Roxora's Vlog so make sure you guys are subscribed. I'll leave it in the little I as well as the description. But if you guys want to see how to achieve this look for prom, then let's get to it. So first up to prime my face, I'm going to be using my YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer. This is like my favorite primer ever. I literally use this pretty much every single day. It's so good at keeping your makeup really nice and smooth throughout the day and just, you know, keeping it on your face in general. So this will be perfect to use for prom. So I'm just literally applying this all over my face to prime it so that our makeup stays on our skin all day long. is nicely prepped I'm gonna move on to foundation now the foundation I'm gonna to use today is the YSL Touche Eclat because I feel like it just works super well with the primer so I'm just gonna apply this to my hand first and then pick it up with my Primark brush I don't even know what this brush is called but it's really good at like blending out your foundation and just really well in general it gives you a really nice coverage and just in general an even skin tone I'm gonna take my Tarte Concealer. This is the Shape Tape Concealer and I have actually only just jumped on the bandwagon of this product. I have heard that this product is amazing and after trying it, I can definitely agree. This product is so good at covering dark circles and let me tell you, my dark circles are like the darkest of them all. So this is definitely a product that will work for a lot of you guys out there. The fact that this concealer is a few shades lighter than my actual skin tone just means that it will really nicely highlight my under eye area. It'll look really beautiful for photos. So that is why I thought I would use this. This concealer also lasts on my face for a long time. So I could be like sweating, I could be dancing at prom and this concealer will not be going anywhere. Now that my face is finished, I'm gonna set everything in place with my MAC Fix Powder. This is a really good powder because it will just make sure that all of your oils are under control throughout the whole night. I would also highly advise that you guys do not actually put on any translucent powder that's like loose because it just creates a lot of flashback in photos, especially if you're using flash photography. So for prom, I would highly recommend to use a powder that's just a natural skin tone shade rather than a loose powder. Okay, I'm now going to move on to contour. So for this, I'm going to be using this Maybelline New York Master Contour Stick. This is a really nice product because it gives you like a really nice contoured effect. The fact that it's cream also makes it appear like it's part of your skin. It kind of really nicely blends into the skin, giving you that natural contoured look. It isn't overdone, so you're not going to end up looking like a clown with this product. It's just super wearable, so I'm just applying this into the contours of my cheeks like this. I'm also going to pull this up into the temples just to add a little bit of warmth there. And I'm also just going to apply the tiniest bit onto the very tip of my nose. I'm then going to use the same brush from Primark that I used to blend my foundation. This is just going to give a, a really smooth and seamless blend. As you can see, you can't even tell that I'm wearing any contour products. It just looks like it's a part of my skin. This is also going to look really beautiful in photos because it's just going to give you that really natural chiseled effect to your face. Now, because the product that I've just used is a cream, you might run into the trouble of basically it kind of sliding down your face throughout the night, which you definitely do not want so you have to make sure that you also set it with another product so I'm gonna be using the Tarte bronzer this is the Amazonian clay matte waterproof bronzer so this is definitely not gonna be sliding off of your face at all because it is waterproof so I'm just basically gonna go over with the powder over the contour that we've just applied with the cream just so that it stays on all night long and does not budge off of your face. I'm also gonna use the same bronzer and just run this down my neck and kind of intensify my jawline. This is really going to help out in photography, especially when it's flash, because it's just gonna 
give you that little bit more definition to your neck area. You can also run this down onto your collarbones if your dress is kind of showing off your collarbones a little bit. It's always nice to use your bronzer on your kind of chest and neck area so that all of your makeup blends in nicely and is not a different color. Now moving on to blush, I'm gonna be using this Lottie London blush in shade Zane. So this is one of my favorites. It's just such an easy, wearable, everyday kind of blush. It's like the perfect color. You do not want anything like super pink and super crazy because you don't want to end up looking like a clown in your pictures. So you only need the, the tiniest bit of blush just to add a little bit of color back into the face. As you can see, that's given me a very subtle pop of color to my cheeks without anything crazy. So now I'm gonna move on to my highlight and highlight is like my favorite ever. So, so I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Glow Kit. Now this is like super powerfully pigmented. So you only need like the tiniest touch of this highlighter. So I'm gonna take this on a little brush like this one. I'm picking up the shade Summer and I'm just gonna apply this to the very top of my cheekbone very very light-handedly as you can see that is like already so blinding so i'm gonna stop there because you do not want to be like blinding everyone in photos that are taken with flash i'm then going to take the same highlighter on a slightly smaller brush and just apply the tiniest touch onto my nose like so it's now time to move on to the brows i'm so excited for this because i'm going to be using my nyx brow pencil this is the eyebrow this is the eyebrow bra can't talk this is the eyebrow powder pencil in shade blonde so first up I'm gonna just take the spoolie side and just brush out my eyebrows to get them nice and tamed I'm just gonna be filling in any sparse areas to define them give them nice shape be very soft and light-handed with this because you do not want to be going over the top with your brows on prom and then also going to mimic a few heads at the very front of my eyebrow so I'm just literally drawing on some fake hairs right there just to make the eyebrow a little bit more faded towards the center part now that my eyebrows are nicely defined and finished i'm going to move on to the eyes and for this i'm going to use my nyx warm neutrals palette this is one of my favorite palettes just because you literally have everything you will ever need in this one palette like you have your shimmers you have your mattes your bronzes and like your kind of warm tone shadows and it's just perfect so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to take this shade here which is like a really nice brownie transition kind of shadow this is going to give it a really nice transition color for all the other eyeshadows that i'm going to apply later on so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take this shadow and almost extend it past my eyebrow to create kind of like a feline effect up, I'm gonna take a slightly darker shadow so I'm gonna go for this one here I'm taking that on the same brush and just applying this in the very outer V of my eye this is going to give the eye look that little bit more definition and it's just going to deepen up the eye and the crease again you want to slightly taper this out into your temple as you can see it's just really lifted the eye area towards the top and it's gonna look beautiful in photos when we clean it up later next I'm gonna take a slightly more maroon shadow which is this one here it's very red toned and we're only going to use a tiny, tiny bit of this to add that little bit of color into the crease. I think this is going to look really beautiful with this new dress that I'm wearing because it's going to give it that little bit of a pop of color. I'm going to return it back to the dark brown shadow and I'm going to apply this underneath my lower lash line just to tie the whole smokiness together. I'm blending the lower eyeshadow a lot lower than I usually would but I think it's really going to emphasize the eyes and create a lot of attention around the eyes which I think is perfect for prom. Next I'm actually going to switch this palette to this one here which is actually a Primark palette. I absolutely love this one shade in this palette. It's just so so pigmented and it's this one here. So I'm just going to take the gold eyeshadow on a flat packing brush and I'm just going to apply this into the very center of my lid like so this eyeshadow is not playing around you guys it's so freaking pigmented so this is the eyeshadow finished and we can now move on to the eyeliner so for today's liner I'm gonna be using this one here which is by Tarte and this is called the man eater eyeliner so what I'm doing here is I'm just creating a quite a thick and graphic wing you can of course do a slightly thinner one to your preference but I think that quite a thick one is going to really complement this look and make your eyes really stand out now that my eyeliner is nicely matching 
I think it's matching, I really hope it is. I'm gonna move on to my mascara. So for this, I'm gonna be using this really nice and thick mascara from Stila. It's called the Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. This is very good, I really like it. It makes my lashes super like thick and volumized, which is exactly what you want for prom. So I'm just gonna apply a few coats of this onto my top lashes. And for my bottom lashes, I'm gonna be using a different mascara. This one is the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. The reason why I'm using two different mascaras is because the wand of this one here is much more suited to the bottom lashes just because it's so tiny and small and you can really get in there. So now that the eyes are finished, we can move on to the lip. I'm so excited about this because the lip is like my favorite part of makeup. So today we're gonna to be going for a nude lip. So first step is to line your lip. I'm gonna be using this cappuccino lip liner from Rimmel. London. This is like literally my everyday lip liner. It's like the perfect shade. I absolutely love it and you guys know that I love this. Look how short it is like and my dog has like bitten it. Aligned, I'm gonna move on to lipstick. So today I'm gonna to be using the NYX Lip Lingerie in shade Push Up. This is a really nice wearable shade. It's going to really finish off this look and it's really gonna last on your lips all night long so you will barely need to even touch it up. And this is the finished makeup look. I absolutely love this look so much. You can also add lashes if you like. I'm not really much of a lash wearer and I'm sure a lot of you guys out there aren't either. So perhaps if you don't wear lashes very often, prom shouldn't really be the day that you try to because I know how uncomfortable lashes are like on the first time you ever wear them so yeah maybe lay off the lashes if you're not used to them just a tip because you definitely don't want them to like be sticking off off of your eye and like poking you in the eye and just you know looking like you're crying in photos but I think this look is absolutely perfect for prom like it's just so neutral it really enhances all of the features in your eyes and your lips and yeah, I just think it's perfect. But now I'm gonna move on to the hair. Now I actually really like how my hair looks down. I feel like it just really matches the dress and the color. I just think it looks really great. So all I've done is literally curled my ends with a hair curler. So I did that like last night, but I'm now just going to kind of brush this out and make it a little bit more looser. So the curls are just gonna be more like waves rather than curls. So to finish off the hair, I'm just gonna use a little bit of dry shampoo. This is the Colab Dry Shampoo and I'm just gonna spray this into the roots and just, you know, just work it in just to get a little bit of body in there. And that is the look done. The hair is really nice and bouncy. I really wish I was going to prom right now because I like 100% prefer this to what I looked like at my actual prom, which was a disaster. I mean, just no. Just no. So now that my hair and makeup is finished, we can move on to the dress, which is like the most important part of prom. I had so much fun shopping for this dress that I'm about to show you. Like it's the one I'm wearing right now. It's just so beautiful. It's so unique. And if you guys buy this dress, I think you would 100% stand out from everybody else. I got this dress from Pretty Little Thing and it only cost me 50 pounds. Would you believe that? Prom dresses are like so expensive. Like I remember when I bought my prom dress, it was probably like 100 pounds which is insane. So this was like a bargain and it's just very like Instagram. It's just very like glamorous and I feel like it's perfect for prom. So that is the end of my prom. Get ready with me. I just so wish that I was going to prom right now because look at me, like I'm all ready for prom. Where's my prom? I swear like YouTube prom should be a thing and we should just all have a prom in the YouTube space. That would be insane. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more videos like this in the future, like getting ready for different events, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below and also subscribe if you haven't already because I would love to have you here. Come and join the dinosaur family. I want you guys to let me know down below when your prom is and what your dress is gonna look like, like what kind of look you're going for. But that is all from me for today. I really hope you guys are having an awesome day and enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye!